Your son mentioned Tyson Fury. Anthony mentioned Tyson Fury. Do you think it's a fight to make next? And, and how does he fare after tonight's performance? I would think Tyson Fury would look at that performance and say, I'm ready to fight him, number one. That takes a big obstacle away. He has to decide whether he wants to go for the big payday or whether he wants to build and learn for longer, in which case he needs two or three more warm-up fights. Public don't like that. They're crying out for it. Is it a time to take the money? It may be. That's not a decision for me. I know it's not your decision, but if you were looking well, after him, two, two more warm-up fights, maybe? Definitely. But at the same time, they wouldn't. I mean, realistically, we, do, we, we live in a commercial world. We all know that. And the money that would be earned from two warm-up fights, or even three warm-up fights, quickly, because I would probably want to see something every two months somewhere. A bit like the old days when you started the, the campaign. Taking to Manchester, go to Glasgow, go to Dublin, you know, and then come back and, and then have the big one. But in today's world, the temptations, I know there's a lot of Saudis here today, and yeah. the temptations for making that fight and earning a colossal amount of money may outweigh the old-fashioned common sense of people like me. Lastly, Barry, what? What's good, family? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, we just heard there from Capri Hearn, the father of Capri Hearn, out here waffling, bringing the sport into disrepute, in my opinion, saying that essentially that AJ is completely finished. I mean, it's no shock that AJ has no faith in himself. Now, I'm not going to completely blame Eddie or Capri Hearn because. At the end of the day, AJ decided to surround himself with certain individuals. 258 management are certain individuals. Matchroom management or promotion is certain individuals. All they care about is the money. And that very faithful day, June 6th, what was it, June the 1st or June the 6th, 2020, 2019, AJ vs Ruiz, that very day, this attitude of it's about the money, it's about commercial, potentially ended AJ's career. Why? Well, I mean, Tyson Fury isn't perfect, but one thing I do give him credit for, he doesn't step in the ring unless he feels he's on it, which is how it should be, really. Yeah? Of course, we mo at the time when Fury pulls out, we moan, but at the end of the day, Fury fans go home happy. They got what they wanted, a win, a W. Now, that doesn't excuse him ducking. I'm just saying that it's not healthy for a fighter to have a 10-year career and have never pulled out of a fight. Anthony Joshua has never pulled out of a fight. That is almost statistically impossible to have 30 fights in a row and be feeling good for all of them. Now, we know it's well documented. The Ruiz won fight something wasn't right now in all fairness I mean if AJ had been fit would it have made the difference maybe not all I know is we'll never know now yeah it was that same attitude of oh the world's commercial oh AJ you can't pull out of this fight AJ was under huge pressure not to pull out of the Ruiz one fight even though he was sick because Matchroom would have lost money they would have lost ticket refunds and um, sunk costs. Costs that have already been spent. When you put on a big event, it costs money. Even before the event takes place, you have to pay different... Um, different. You can, you can imagine it, the different type of people you have to pay. So those are costs you have regardless of whether the event takes place. So, I mean, look at the Conor Ben versus... Eubank situation Eddie Hearn said it's cost him about half a million to a million in costs lost because the fight didn't take place they weren't able to get the revenue from the tickets and the pay-per-view so it's a cost now an AJ vs Ruiz fight that was just as big as Conor Ben vs Eubank so Eddie Hearn didn't want to lose a million that's what this came down to it came down to Eddie Hearn not being a tight ass and not wanting to lose a million. And that's the problem with a lot of these commercial guys. They understand commercial to some extent, but they don't understand boxing. Why? Well, if they understood boxing, they'd be able to see past their nose. Yeah? Wait a minute. Yes, if I pull AJ out, 
it may cost us a million, but what is the cost of AJ losing? Do you understand? The cost of AJ losing is a lot more than one million, yeah? That AJ hype train was huge. If AJ hadn't lost against Ruiz 1, I mean, it doesn't guarantee he wouldn't have lost later anyway, but what it does say is, is that you would have made that million back tenfold in the next fight. Do you understand? So to save a million now, they've essentially, AJ's finished now, for, for, as a, for a fact. And in fact, Barry Hearn saying what he said confirms this. Yeah? Oh, oh it might be time to cash him out. It might be time to cash him out. You don't, people don't say that about a fighter. Unless they're finished. How do we know this? Well, guess what? For the last 10 years of Barry Hearn's career, you've heard nothing but, listen, Fury doesn't want to fight. I believe AJ knocks him out. Now you're hearing, uh, yeah, uh, never mind knock Tyson Fury out. I think Tyson Fury will have a go on AJ. And in fact, it might be time for us to let Fury have a go on AJ. You've never heard that until today, which tells you even Team Matchroom think he's finished. And to be fair, they're not wrong. My beef is, is that, I mean, Barry Hearn's so cold, and as much as he talks as if he hasn't been working with AJ for 10 years. You understand? How can you talk so publicly about a man being finished and cashing him out? Like he's any man to you. But again, AJ has no one to blame but himself. He's the one who surrounded himself with blood-sucking demons. Do you understand? Yeah, and that's something AJ, when he, listen, when AJ go, goes up to the man upstairs and has to, or when it, when it comes to AJ going to the pearly gates, he will have to, um, what's the word? He will have to, reason or speak with his maker and explain why he's a Kabbaloni 100% yeah he would have to explain why he chose to take the coin 100% and people like Capi Hearn and Capri Hearn they all the same Don King was the same all about the money no longevity in fact actually I think Don King was better Don King knew how to build a fighter. Don King wasn't putting him in there on four weeks notice in a hard fight. Unless it was Larry Holmes. Unless he was there. Don King, in all fairness, he knew how to build fighters. Yeah, He put an old, out of shape Larry Holmes in there with Mike Tyson, for example. That's how you do it. You don't put AJ in there with Andy Ruiz on five weeks notice and then when it all goes wrong put your hands in the air like he didn't know anything do you know what I'm saying Eddie Hearn's supposed to be the best promoter in boxing but he didn't but he, he allowed his fighter to fight sick that's a no no and that's what this comes down to people they could have said listen someone a family I mean Eddie Hearn says that oh we're a family organisation. A family organisation sits down and says, listen, AJ, I represent you. Forget about the million dollars we may lose if you pull out. We need to focus on the longevity of your career. We can make the millions back later. What's important now is winning a fight. And that's what Tyson Fury has always done well. He always makes sure he's in a position to win a fight. Yeah, not, oh, I'll turn up, I'll turn up sick and lose, but at least I turned up. And no one trying to hear that. That don't cut the, cut the mustard, not even a little bit. You put him in there and he's been finished since, let's be real now. AJ has not been the same since. And, it's, and we know, the crazy thing is, anyone who knows anything about boxing should know that, especially these new age guys, I mean, people from the 80s, men from the 80s, were built different. They had pride, regardless if they lost. But these new age guys 
a sensitive, yeah? A new age guy takes a loss and it's the end of the world. It breaks him. Yeah, men ain't tough. When you, again, when you think about all them thousands of, when you think about the thousands of, um, I don't know, Zulu or Roman or um, American Indian and whoever else you want that have gone onto battlefields and bled out for hours in the cold. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's really hard. Now, going into a boxing match and losing isn't hard for millions of dollars. And yet, it has been, and yet, it has broken AJ. Yeah? However, a good management and good promotion, they will understand this. They will understand. Wait a minute. We can't afford this hype train to stop. We have to do every single thing possible to keep it going successfully. For example, where was the upside in taking a Ruiz fight on five weeks notice? There's no upside there. There's none. Now, is there an upside with taking a Wilder fight on five weeks notice? Yes, because if you beat Wilder, you become undisputed champion. Or if you lose to Wilder, you lost to the best guy in the world. That makes sense. But to fight sick in a fight that was already... Let's not forget people. AJ didn't pull out of the fight. It was Jerome Miller. Jerome Miller was the guy who pulled out. So when a fighter pulls out, you have every excuse to cut the show. Yeah? The, 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 the main event's off. Jerome Millis failed a test. We are going to reschedule. That's what should have been the move. Let AJ have a full 12 week camp for Ruiz. Plus, allow AJ time to be better from his sickness. That's the game. This wasn't a fight you needed to be. Like, for example, if it was Wilder, you might say, wow, if we pull out, we might not get this opportunity again. That makes sense, but you don't rush for Ruiz. And that's why I don't, people say, oh, why be, why do you hate Rob McCrappen? Rob McCrappen is a trainer. Now, I believe, really, the management team and the promotional team should also care. But the, the strongest relationship is the fighter and the trainer. Those are the ones who spend day in, day out together. You know your fighter. If your fighter is not well, if your fighter is sick, you pull him from the fight or you walk away. You say, listen, AJ, I'm not backing this. You're not right. You're not looking right. You're concussed. I'm stepping away. and I'm publicly stepping away. I'm putting it out there now. AJ is not looking too great. That's what a man of character does. But Rob McCrappen doesn't have character. All he cared about is making more money. But ultimately, AJ can only blame himself. He chose the people around him, ultimately. But he may have been young and naive. Anyway, either way, Eddie Hearn, Cappy Hearn, sorry, Capri Hearn, confirming he's going to cash AJ out any minute now. And that's the end of that. That's, what, that's how they see AJ. AJ is a commodity to be cashed in and or cashed out. And it's now time for the cashing out. Let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. And lick off the bell 100%.